Miss Brittany from Bethesda Country Day School. I'm really excited to do this video with you guys today. We're going to create our own greenhouse um, using some things that you can find at home and that are easy to find at the store. So I'm really excited to do this with you guys. So let's get started. Okay, friends. So these are the materials that you're going to need. So we need scissors, hole puncher, crayons, markers, or anything that you can use to color or draw, tape, Ziploc bag, paper towel, lima beans. Um, you can use these, or I have large lima beans, but you can use large, small. Um, if you have any other beans at home um, that would work, that would be fine as well. But I find that these do work best. And then, um, of course, you're going to need water, but um, I put my water in a spray bottle so it's easy to use and show you guys. But you can also just use it, the water from your sink um, as well. And then um, I'm also gonna attach the items that you're gonna need to print out for your greenhouse. Um, it's gonna be a greenhouse template. Uh, I printed mine out on green, but you can use any color you want or you can use white, whatever works for you. And then the other form is a documentation form. So it's gonna have the day numbers on there and we're gonna, I'm gonna let you know what days to put on, okay? So let's get started. Okay friends, so the first step is to create your greenhouse. So you can see I printed mine out on green. Um, I've already taken the steps to cut it out. There will be lines for you to cut your greenhouse out. So there's lines on the top and then there are lines on the inside of your greenhouse. So that part's a little tricky. I always find that if I fold it and cut a little slit in the middle, I can cut it out a lot easier. So um, that's a trick that I use. If not, and you need a little bit of help, mom and dad, I'm sure will love to help you cut the center out. And this is the most important part. So just make sure you guys don't forget the middle, okay? I also decided to um, color my pictures in and don't forget to write your name because you're gonna want to document that this is your greenhouse that you created. And then don't forget to put your date. Today is May 13th, so I made sure I put the date as well. Okay friends, so for our next step, these are the things that you're gonna need. Your Ziploc bag, your paper towel, your hole puncher, or you can use scissors or pencil, um, your tape, your water, and then of course your beans. I picked three beans, but you can choose however many you want. Okay. So first we're going to take our paper towel and we're gonna have to get it wet. I'm using a spray bottle, but like I said, if you don't have a spray bottle at home, you can always just take your paper towel to your sink, get it all the way wet, and then you're gonna wring it out so it's not dripping water. So I'm just gonna use my spray bottle and get it fully wet. Because one of the most important things that a plant needs to grow is, of course, water. So my paper towel is wet. Um, so now I'm gonna fold it. So I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna fold it in half again. So it's gonna look like a rectangle when you're done, okay? So then you're gonna take your Ziploc bag and open it up. And then you're going to insert your paper towel all the way into your bag at the bottom, okay? And then you're gonna make sure it's in there good and it's all the way at the bottom, okay? Then you're gonna use your beans. You're gonna take your beans. I picked three beans, but like I said, pick however many you want. I'm gonna put them on top of my paper towel. Make sure they're in there good and you're gonna press them in there because we wanna make sure that those beans get the water that they need to grow, okay? So then we're gonna seal our Ziploc bag all the way. And this is what you're gonna get. So you're gonna have your bag with your paper towel and then your beans. Um, one of the other important things that um, seeds need to grow besides water is air. So. I'm going to make holes for the seeds to get the air that they need. So let's do that now. I have three beans, so I think I'm just gonna do three holes. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is what you're gonna get at the end. You should have your bag, paper towel, beans, and then you should have your holes in the top for your seeds to get air. Okay friends, so for this step, all you need is your bag that you just created, and of course your greenhouse that you decorated and made so beautiful. So you're gonna put your greenhouse upside down on the table, so you're gonna look at the back of your greenhouse, and then you're gonna take your bag and do the same thing. You're gonna want the seeds to go through the window, 
of your greenhouse. So of course, when you're looking at it on the table, you're not gonna see your beans. They're gonna be on the other side. So once you do that, you're gonna take your tape and you're going to tape the bag to your greenhouse, just like this. And if the tape goes over, you can always wrap it around or cut it off. And then when you turn it over, this is what you're gonna see. You're gonna see your greenhouse with your beans and your paper towel and everything. And put it in your window and then just put a little piece of tape on top so your plant can get the sun that it needs. Okay friends, so we pretty much finished up our greenhouse and I had so much fun doing it with you guys. Um, this is the last thing that is gonna go along with your greenhouse and it's just to document the growth of your lima beans. So the other form that was sent to your mom and dad is um, this and it has day. And I'd like you guys to put day two, four, six, and 10 on your form. And then each day, so after two days of having your lima bean in your window, you're going to draw in a picture of what it looks like. If it made any changes, if it looks the same, um, write that here. And then on day four, day six, and day 10, I want you to do the same as well. Um, you should see some kind of changes throughout that 10 days. Um, so I'm really excited to see what happens to your guys' lima beans. And I really hope you guys share your pictures with me and I really enjoyed this activity with you guys and I love you guys and I miss you and I hope you have fun too. All right, bye.